Sophia. Will you help me take Arby's stitches out? It's been almost three weeks since Arby the fawn arrived at Kristen's home with a wound that nearly cost him his life. Just gonna clip the stitch here. The emergency operation to save him was a success, and it's time to see how he's healing. Kind of unthreads from there. I know, handsome, I'm sorry. The leg was looking good. The stitches were ready to come out. Hey, hey, hey. You're fine. This fawn is truly a little miracle. Um, it's amazing that he lived having the leg cut off. I know, I know, I know, I know. There we go. We done? No, yeah, don't let him go yet. All right, I got him. The plan is to move Abby to a large outdoor pen with their other fawns. But first, they need to see how he navigates uneven terrain with only three legs. All right, buddy, let's go. Come on, handsome. Let's Come on, Abby. Let's go out here and get some exercise. We just want to make sure that he gets around well because he has to be able to run like the other deer. I know this is all new. Oh, he says, oh, grass. <laughs> Come on, Abby. There you go. Oh, little turkey. When Abby takes off like a shot, my heart sank. Letting Abby go at this stage of his life is like sending a baby out in the woods and saying, hey, see how you can do. Dude, don't you dare. All right. There you go. OK, fenced area for you. There you go. You did great. I'm so proud. We're going down to the fenced area. <laughs> Abby proved to me today that, by golly, he can run just like the other ones. This is awesome. I'm like, except you scared the bejeebers out of me. The good part of it was is, man, he was jumping over those branches like he had four legs. All right, quit throwing your fit, dude. 